This is my base in the sky. On top of the highest mountain on the server, I can see across the entire map just from my roof. But you may be wondering, what's the point of living up here? Well, Rust had an update while I was gone and they added this, the parachute. Being able to jump from heights without the worry of fall damage brings new ways to counter raids, oil rigs, cargos, and even just using them to get around the map is insane. And when you pair that with living at the highest point on the server, the possibilities to what you could pull off are endless. But in order for me to take advantage of those possibilities, I need to build the sky base. So let's get over to the beach to get started. <clears throat> All right, we are in. It is me, Jay Tellis, back from vacation, baby. We are home and back on Rust. I decided to go back to my homeland for my birthday all the way back to the mayor of the car. But now I'm back in Australia and I got a good plan for you guys. Today, we're gonna be living in the sky. While I was gone, Rust decided to make a few updates to the airspace. They added parachutes and an attack helicopter. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be using the attack heli, but I'm definitely gonna be using the parachute today. I just gotta figure out where the highest mountain is on the map. But quickly before doing that, I gotta thank you beautiful people because while I was gone, I hit 235,000 subscribers. Nearly one fourth of the way to a million subscribers. And if I manage to hit that, I'm kissing you all on the Pete. Head, head, head. That's that's what I was gonna say. Anyways, let's find this mountain. Looking at the map, there were a bunch of mountains to choose from, but this one in particular really caught my attention. With it nearly in the center of the map, once having a sky base up, I'd be able to fly anywhere from it. Well, that's as long as the mountain's tall enough. You can't really tell how tall it's gonna be from just looking at the map. So it's time for me to get over there so I can start checking. And while making my way down there, I collected enough cloth, wood, and stone so I could craft up a bow. I even found a recently raided base where I stole some furnaces. But right next to that base was some pictures of a crime scene. What the fuck? Are they... Oh my god, these sickles were vlogging themselves taking out the horses. And after getting a closer look at that, I was finally at where I wanted to build. Well, where I thought I wanted to build. This mountain wasn't looking as big as I thought it would. I even tried to put the footprint down, but this mountain just wasn't high enough. I was gonna have to find another one. But in the meantime, I decided to put a little one by one down so I could safely explore the area. And while doing so, I came across a decayed base with a tier two sticking out of it. But it still had its TC, and if I wanted to steal this tier two, I was gonna have to break it. And I had no means of doing that just yet. So I decided to go back to my little one by one and put my stuff away that I collected. But while I was in there, I heard some footsteps outside. What the hell? Someone's outside. But it wasn't just someone being outside my base. It was what that person was going to get. There was an airdrop coming down right by my base. And the guy that just walked by has a head start. Wait, no, dude. He's gonna get it first. Getting this airdrop can help me out a ton because inside it guarantees some sort of a weapon. And that weapon can provide me with protection when farming the insane amount of resources needed for this sky base. However, with this guy being so far ahead of me, that means that he's most likely gonna get his hands on the weapon first. No, the airdrop's landing. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna let him keep it without a fight. Pretty sure it landed just up here. <laughs> it's C4. I gotta get back. Not only did this airdrop have a weapon, it also had a C4. And there was no way the guy who just died was gonna be happy about losing that. And it's a slight chance, but he could have heard me in my base when walking over to the airdrop. And if that's so, my little one by one stands no chance. So I need to get home quick to thank the sponsor of today's video. Bandit Camp. Bandit Camp is one of the most popular sites out right now with their authentic rust wheel, crazy case battles, and intense mines. If you're like me and you love to make huge gains on the wheel in game, why not give it a shot for some real cash? Oh! Oh my god! Right now, if you use my code JTELUS or click the link in the description, you'll get a free 15 cents to try the site out with, plus a 5% deposit bonus. But if you're gonna use the site, make sure you're of age and don't be stupid. Now, back to the video. I luckily made it back to the base with no sign of the guy, so I depoted all the loot and went out just to make sure he wasn't poking around. And it didn't take long before I heard some footsteps at the top of the hill. Oh wait, I hear hazmat feet. Where is he? I'm gonna flank around. I wonder if that was the guy. 
Oh god, it was. Yo, he's hunting me down, man. Knowing that this guy was getting curious about where I came from and that it would only be a matter of time before he found my base, I knew I needed to get out of here as fast as possible. That means it's time for me to get working on this sky base. So let's get to collecting everything. I'm gonna need a jackhammer for farming all the resources as easy as possible. I need to find the tallest mountain possible so I can start building the base. And last but definitely not least, I gotta get a parachute. I can either tech tree it or hopefully get lucky and find someone with one. It's pretty simple task, but getting all this finished is definitely going to be easier said than done. But starting off with the simple stuff, I went over to launch site and farmed up some scrap so I could buy a jackhammer. What was supposed to be a quick and simple trip changed pretty quickly after hearing this. Oh, I'm going for that. So I went home and depoted the scrap and went back ready to fight. He unfortunately just sealed the base when I got there, so there was nothing I could do. Well, nothing I could do besides wait out here for him. camping yeah get fucked idiot oh come on man eat that I might not have gotten any of the raid loot, but what he had was even more valuable to me, a parachute. That's one less thing I'm gonna have to collect for this sky base. Still, I knew there had to be more loot left in that base. And I was listening real close when he was coming out, and I only heard him open one door. That means there's a chance that there's only one door holding back all that raid loot. And I just so happened to have gotten a C4 from a supply drop. And not only did I have that C4, because when I ran launch site, I got a satchel, so I could use that just in case he locked the TC. I was planning to to save it for the base with a tier 2 sticking out of it, but this seems like a better occasion to use it on. So I grabbed the C4 and satchel and made my way over to the base, praying that in the time of me grabbing the C4, he didn't get out with any of the loot. Alright, here we go. I wonder if he's AFK inside. No, we're good. Sadly, when I was grabbing the boom, he made it out with most of the loot. Still, all these leftovers would be more useful to me than the C4 at this moment. So I filled up my inventory and transferred all the loot back to my base. I actually ended up getting three satchels and some Molotovs from the raid. And I remembered that there was a tier two that I could take if I just broke a TC. So I went over to check that out again. But after getting over there, it was clear to me that someone had already beat me to breaking the TC. But they didn't think about grabbing the workbench through the garage door. At this point, I have the parachute secured, weapons to defend myself, and even a few jackhammers from the raid. All I have left to do is get this farm for the sky base and figure out which mountain I'm going to be building on. Everything's seemingly on track. Honestly, it's moving faster than I expected. But with the progression moving so fast, my current base isn't really keeping up with the amount of loot I have. And well, I didn't realize it, but coming out of a wood one by one over and over again was starting to gain some attention. Could have sworn I just heard someone on the hill. Oh my god. Oh, he was coming to raid me. He had Molotovs. It seems like all this coming in and out of my base attracted someone in, and they were just seconds away from getting everything I had. Luckily, I was there to take them out, but their visit was definitely a wake-up call to get out of this wood one by one. There's no way I'd have enough time to transfer all this loot out somewhere far away, though, so I was gonna have to just make a stronger starter base close by. And with the new stronger starter base set up, we could get back on track. And that starts with researching the parachute and then going out to finally farm everything for this sky base. I definitely underestimated how much time this would take, but after farming every node I could see, I still didn't have enough. So I went back out to farming and farming, taking out farmers and more farming. But while out doing that, I ended up coming across a base that was decaying. And that base looked like it had the potential to be absolutely loaded. But I couldn't craft any explosives because I didn't have any blueprints for them. But I did have a friend who I knew had explosive and rocket blueprint on this server. Because he got it when we were playing a wipe together. So I messaged him and asked if he was down to help me craft up some rockets. And within minutes, he was on the server. Motherfucker. And we were heading over to right into the base. Oh my god! Deloaded. 
Yes. All right. What we got? Oh. Uh, I mean, it's good. Oh, rockets, rockets, rockets. Small box, small box. Look, look. look. Holy shit. The base was definitely worth messaging Bubba to get on for. And with all the distractions now taken care of, I could start working on this sky base. But where am I going to build it? Well, when looking at the map, there are many options for mountains. And I covered a ton of ground when I was on all those farm runs. And I think I came across the perfect mountain. This one right at M10. When I was over there, it seemed like the perfect spot. It was semi-close to the center of the map, it was massive, and it had just enough room to fit my base. This is it. So I went home, grabbed all the materials I collected, and started building. In order to ensure my base wouldn't get wiped, I needed to make sure it was built on a strong foundation. But I highly underestimated how much material it would take to build this base at the bottom. Oh god, what did I do? But no need to worry, that just means I'm gonna have to do a little bit more farming. And Bubba offered to help. But before we had the chance to start farming, there was a raid going on off in the distance so i went over to get a closer look where i ended up killing all the raiders Oof. but they seem to have ran out of boom but we did still have those rockets from the decayed base so i finished the raid and we got even more all right i'm in a little bit of guns a stupid but the amount most of important armor, thing bro. we secured from that raid was this the parachute and i wanted to test it out right away right, let's see how this thing works <laughs> 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 Whoa. Okay, so the parachute seems to have some requirements that I didn't quite know about before trying to make that jump. Apparently, you can't be close to anything when trying to pull your parachute or it just won't come out. And if you pull it too late... Yeah, you'll still take fall damage. That's alright though, because once the base is fully set up, I'll be high enough in the air to where nothing can get in the way. All I gotta do now is build it. And I had plans for this build, but it was gonna take a lot of building and farming and building and farming. I even set up an elevator shaft going all the way up. But there's one issue with the elevator shaft. I have no idea how to put an elevator together. But after receiving some much needed help from a little bit of a professional, you might know her from the last video, L. We got it figured out. What the fuck? I'm stuck now. <laughs> And the base was pretty much done. I know what you guys might be thinking. It's 12 minutes into the video. You know, you still haven't gotten into the base. You're just now getting into it. Well, listen, motherfuckers, it takes a lot of work to do this in vanilla, right? But no more complaining because now that the base is pretty much set up, it's time to start talking about how I'm going to use this space to take advantage of the parachute. This is a rough idea of the distance I could travel from the top of my base using a parachute. And in this zone, I can make it right into outpost, launch site, excavator, or even train yard that has a Chinook crate. Not to mention if any raids or fights break out anywhere in this area, I could be there from one jump off my roof. And I plan to do all of that. And there's a reason why I have no time to finish the base yet. Well, somebody just took launch site. And that means it's time to really test out these parachutes. All right. You ready to make this jump? Yeah, motherfucker. All right. We got to go which way? South, okay. south, south. Go, south. go, go. Dude, this is fucking sick. Where are you? I'm to your right. <laughs> Holy shit. We make it so far. I wonder if I wonder if Sam sites hit us. No shot, right? Man, Bubba, you're you getting a little shoot. close, bro. Well, if if the Sam sites shoot bro, at you, dude, you're done. I get a bit. <laughs> where where are we going. going? I'm going this way. Oh! oh. <laughs> no! I'm not gonna make it. I'm dodging him. I'm dodging him. I'm dodging him. Oh, I didn't dodge him. <laughs> Goodbye, cruel world. Oh, I stood up. A 16% chance. Okay, so the flight in might have been a little bit less than ideal, but you know, we made it in. I'm up, and now it's time to counter this Bradley. The only issue is it's nighttime. I see a guy running on mound. I just killed two. Oh, I think you could flank that AK kid on the outside. Damn. I think he's, he's dead, he's dead. I got him, I got him. Gee, let's fucking go. Chad. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. There's there's another full metal kit right here, bro. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Oh, there, there's two more. I think I killed one, though. I may have died there, but there was only one more left. And by the time of me getting back, El and Bubba had already taken him out. So all I had to do was loot up the bodies. Oh, this kid grabbed some crates, bro. L9C4 on this body. Holy shit, what a 
wicked counter. Everything went almost perfectly. Well, except getting murked by the Sam sites, but hey, you live and you learn. And now that I know, next time I'll make sure to land on the outside. Still, this Bradley counter was just the start of what I plan to do. Except before I do anything else, I gotta finish the base. There, much better. And now that the base is fully set up, we got a strong foundation, an elevator that goes all the way up to the top floor, and plenty of loot rooms at the top. But what I failed to realize was the amount of attention that having a base like this brings. And I'd come to find out real soon that people were not very happy about me being up this high. Oh, our neighbors are on their roof right now. They're roof camping some guy next to their base. I want to parachute down so bad. Holy shit. I just don't know if there's any turrets on their roof, so I don't want to be stupid. Oh. Never mind, he's looking this way. I can't parachute. But I can't get back at him for roof camping, yeah. Now I know what you're probably thinking. You started shooting at him first. And if you thought that, well, you're right. But in my defense, he was roof camping first. And the game's the game, man. What can I say? But what I didn't realize was how much this roof camp battle meant to him. This guy was so angry that even hours later, I went to check towards his base and he was still on his roof looking at me. Dude, he is still up there. And that cannot be a good sign. This guy is holding a grudge. And not long after the roof camping, I was starting to hear drones fly around the base. And that could only mean one thing. They are probably scouting out the base to raid it. These dudes are up to something. And knowing that they were most likely scouting out my base to raid it, it was probably a good idea to start working on upgrading the base. What's the fastest way to upgrade your base? Well, you run Excavator. What's the fastest way to get there? Well, that's just one jump off my roof. Excavator, here we come, baby! Dude, it is so sick up here. Oh my god. I might make it onto it. Oh, oh my God, that was fucking sick. But where'd my parachute go? Oh, oh, there it is. How the fuck did you get up there? I landed in the material chooser, bro. After making the insane landing, I ran excavator until I had enough stone and metal to do some upgrades to the base. And I used the leftovers for some upkeep. I also figured I should check the roof just in case. It's been forever. There's no chance that the guy is still on his- Oh fuck, they're watching me. Brother, it has been hours. How is he still on his roof? With them still being on their roof, I'm a thousand percent sure they're up to something. No one just sits on their base for hours flying drones around scouting if they're not doing anything. The only issue is, I don't know when they're planning to do whatever they're up to. But with them on their roof, the airspace around my base isn't very usable. Oh, shit. They're shooting at me. No. Bro, they shot my... So instead, I figured I'd go over to Bandit Camp, buy a mini, and try to see what I could do out in the open ocean. And I was just in luck. This cargo ship just came out. Cargo ship, baby. Let's see how a parachute works. Here I come. Well, there's a boat coming in. Oh, dude, I, I, I gotta get up. Oh. Go down. Guys, what the fuck? Take two, baby. All right. Oh my God, am I too low? I hope this guy that was on the boat doesn't come peek over. Oh my God, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna. Oh, oh, oh. oh. All right, now I just gotta find this boat guy. Where are you? I know you're on here. I seen you in the boat. I'm gonna find you. Oh. Bro's hitting it, bro. <laughs> Other than the guy practicing his bicycle kick down at the bottom of the boat, there was no one else who came to counter. So I made it out with all the loot. At this point, I've been playing so long that Bubba and Elle have gotten off and now it's just me. But someone was taking Bradley, so I decided to fly over to launch site, avoiding the SAM sites this time. Although when I got inside, it seemed like they were having trouble because one of them was dead. And after taking out the other one, it was clear they didn't even have enough HP rockets to take out Bradley. That wasn't even the weirdest part though, because on my walk home, I heard something flying above my head. That guy, he just stayed on while it was falling. Oh, I'll take the diesel. With so much random stuff going on over there, I figured I'd fly back over. Unfortunately, a guy flying in the air over a hot area, uh, it grabs some attention. Dude, it's so cool being up here. Wait, what? There's three guys looking at me. 
Oh my god, I almost just did it. Alright, this guy had my body. I think this is the base. I think they're building their base. <laughs> you must just murk me! What do you want, man? You're a fucking psycho, Jesus. Come in here like a fucking special ops trooper, bro, with your parachute, man. Fuck. After going all special ops on these guys, I figured I'd leave them alone because they sounded like cool people, and I figured I was done with the parachute for today. The plan now is to just chill around base, just in case those neighbors that were sitting on their roof and flying drones around finally came to do their visit. But if you couldn't tell from the last few clips, whenever I was parachuting off my base, I wasn't getting absolutely blasted by them on their roof. So there's a chance that they're not even on anymore. The key word there though is chance and i didn't want to take the risk of losing everything to these guys but i've been playing for nearly 24 hours now at this point and i'm dead so i needed to think of some sort of a way that i could get some rest and the only thing i could think of is slapping my headphones on laying on my couch by my desk praying that if the sound of rockets start popping off it wakes me up the only issue is i'm about the heaviest sleeper you'll ever meet Oh my god. I oh my god, bro. I was hearing rockets in my dream, and then I remembered I'm fucking waiting for a raid. Bro, for some reason, my bed upstairs... I think I had Bubba bag me in, but he either didn't give me the bed or the whole fucking upstairs is gone. And if that's the case, well, I'm going to be defending this raid with 60 HP. I just woke up and I was completely disorientated. It was 4 a.m. and I had no idea how long these guys had been rocketing. But what I did know was they were only a few doors away from the core. And for some reason, my bed in the sky base was gone. And that had all the kits and meds to defend this base. So I'm going to have to do this without healing. Oh, guys, this is going to be a lot harder than it needed to be. I have nothing to heal with. But after making some noise in the base, I heard them running away on grass. I hear someone running away. And there was a chance that when they heard me get online, they just up and ran. But there was only one way to truly know. I had to open the door. Oh my god, dude. The base is gone. Gone. The base might be half gone, but the raiders are definitely not. Most likely one was holding while the other one went to go get some more boom. And with the sound of feet showing back up, that could only mean one thing. They've got the rockets. Without access to the sky base, there was nothing I could do besides sit and wait. I took out the one with the launcher and I looted the rockets as fast as possible, but this wasn't over yet because there was still one more guy and I wasn't going to have time to reload this launcher to kill him. I was going to have to use my gun. But unfortunately, things didn't go my way because of my low health and I died with one headshot. Now not only do I have no meds, I'm 60 HP, I only have a Sarn and M9 to defend with, and they're only two doors away from getting to TC, so most likely there's no chance of me winning this. But, I'm not one to give up so easily. Oh god, I'm gonna get fucking burned alive. After killing that one guy, it was coming down to the wire, and all I had left to defend with was this M9. So, I placed another armored door down just in case, and it was time to see if I could hold this down with just an M9. He's dead, right? He's gotta be dead. Oh my god. The other one killed himself with a rocket. No meds in an M9 and I did it. It wasn't pretty, but the raid has been defended. Apparently, while I was taking a nap, they MLRS the base, and that's why I was holding on for dear life. But honestly, it stayed together better than I would have expected. And if you're wondering if they got anything from this raid, they didn't. They didn't even make it out with a single bit of loot. But I know what you might be wondering. What about the bedroom? That was perfectly safe, too. Bubba just didn't bag me. This mother...
go. It's all right though, I made it all work in the end. And after patching up the base, it was like nothing had ever happened. But I wanted to show them that they just can't come over at 4 a.m. to offline me and get away with it. I wanted them gone. There was one issue though. I barely had any boom. So I spent the rest of the day collecting boom from airdrops and helis, but that wasn't giving me enough. But about 12 hours later and some random parachute jumps on my roof, I came across a decayed base. What is that this? was definitely gonna help me when it came to raiding these. Oh my god. Bro! With these rockets, I could definitely get into their base. So, I flew over to scout it out, and, uh, yeah, they had a heartbeat sensor with a turret. Ow. Anyways, after dealing with that, it was revenge time, baby. So, cue the rockets. <laughs> Holy shit. Now that that's dealt with. He was so loaded! Oh no. They fing despawned all their loot. No way! Yeah, after failing to offline raid me, they must have despawned all their loot, rage quit, and got off the server. But hey, I'll take this as a W in the end because the rockets were free and they were gone. Next time, try to offline somebody else's skybase.